Hello, so this is just a quick update on Plinky. Um, I've decided that I'd love to get this out as a kit. Um, hopefully Steve from Thunk will agree. Um, he's been egging me on over the years. So uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, for those five of you lucky people who are getting my five Plinkies, uh, I'm about to post them to you. Uh, I'd love to hear what you do with it. Um, I just really am looking, not, don't worry about sending me detailed feedback. I'm just interested to hear uh, what you want to do with it. And if you enjoy it, it's not going to cure cancer, sadly, or save the world. It's burning as it, as it is around us. But um, hopefully you can get some beautiful plinks and plonks out of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to just quickly do some, some patch ideas uh, in case there's anything that uh, I can inspire you with. Um, and if there is any feedback, you know, of course, I'd love to hear it. I'm quite new to the Eurorack game. Uh, and uh, yeah, so if there's something where you're like, Evans, if only you just change this one thing, it'd be so much better. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll just enjoy playing it. Um, yeah, so Plinky, inputs on the left, outputs on the right. Uh, Uh, that's a nice patch. Let's just choose a new one. So go to um, presets here. I'm currently on preset 21. Let's go to preset 13 and see if that's a... Okay, that's a default patch. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, it's just a super saw. Uh, polyphonic. Um, let's... Uh, let's uh, the most important thing, I think, or the most useful thing, is if you're looking for a kind of filter cutoff, uh, to tame those sawtooths, then it's actually called sensitivity. So you go to parameter A, uh, there's basically two parameter pages A and B, and then this one here is sensitivity, currently 50%. Now, uh, these four pads are now available to audition, mm. same as before. Oh, I've switched to LFO frequency, right? Uh, so let's go back to sensitivity. Uh, fine, uh, let's turn it down a bit with this slider here. So it's much softer and a bit more of a sine wave kind of vibe. If I tap A again, it starts flashing. And that means that basically the left slider stays as the sensitivity slider, but the rest can be auditioned. And um, I've recently added a PWM, uh, which is over here on B. So you go to parameter B, and then this kind of uh, icon here, which is uh, the uh, square or PWM. Uh, if you use parameter A version of that, it's the gate length. So I can go to there for gate length. Uh, um, so mm -hmm. that's legato, but if I turn it down, I get a fraction of a beat. Uh, but we'll just go back to 100% legato. And the B version of that is PWM. So, so uh, in fact, if I go to um, the oscilloscope, you can see uh, let's put some effects on it. So just go to effects, Oop, tap B to go to effects. And uh, reverb, because you need reverb. And a little bit of uh, delay, why not? Um, so that's it, that's Plinky, really. You just basically tap between A and B uh, and choose a parameter and edit it. Um, I also put a bit of a, a compressor in, so obviously we've turned the filter down, the, the low pass gate, so the sensitivity's down. So we can compensate either by um, turning up the synth level, which is B, and then the uh, same same pad as the uh, sensitivity. So you can kind of compensate. So look, A, sensitivity 26, quite low. B, uh, mix, quite high. So now, and we if we need to go further, we can t go to the um, uh, A, and then the sort of rock hand is drive. We can go higher. A little bit of drive, and if you if you push that really hard, let's go further, further. Starts kind of, uh, and then there's quite an unruly resonance, which is under B, and then R here resonance. Uh, let's see, Whoa. starts getting sort of vocal. And um, we can obviously fiddle with the envelope, so A, 
attack time, make it open up slower, uh, decay. Um, if you find that there's too much bass, because low pass gates opening and closing tends to cause kind of thumps, uh, there is a high pass filter. If you go to B and then the sustain button, uh, it's high pass, so we can turn that up. Get a more kind of nasal sound. Um, but that's just useful if you're finding it is get, getting a bit bassy. Either that or process it further in your Eurorack. Uh, this version runs the outputs fine even when you're running off USB, so you can uh, should be able to patch this straight into your uh, Eurorack system. Inputs on the left, uh, including pitch and gate to uh, basically take a recorded performance and then uh, transpose it. And uh, you can transpose within scale or um, by semitones or unquantized. And then you have outputs and pressure outputs and stuff to drive other synths um, and clocks and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to cover the sampler here, just the synth. But you can plug audio into here. This is actually a stereo jack, uh, but it, it will, it, at the moment, it only takes mono input, uh, records a mono input, I should say. And you do that by uh, going to preset and you choose one of the samples, which is the rightmost column. And then you hit record. It's in the manual. I, I'm not going to cover it here. Right. Uh, the arpeggio is a shortcut. Is if you hold down the le the the, the le left uh, arrow here, it will switch on the arpeggiator. And the arpeggiator has loads and loads of um, sort of features like uh, Euclidean rhythm, so we can make it you know. Uh, and octaves is what I was playing with in the opening patch with the B knob. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Plinky. I hope you find it uh, enjoyable, and um, I'm looking forward to maybe getting it onto uh, Thonk as a kit. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested and if you'd be uh, uh, interested in getting a Plinky. Uh, thanks very much. Okay.